Boy. Yeah, as y'all seen in the thumbnail, you know, you got a little white woman on there. One of them liberals. No, she's a liberal, you know, trying to be all whatever. I'm sitting here like, okay. What was going on? It was a black woman in uniform. She had locks and it was all down the back, right? So she's trying to tell me how army regulations change. Now, no, she ain't never been in the army herself at all, right? At all. And she posting up this, and I post up the regulation. It's talking about, well, a ponytail can hang this far below the shoulder blades and, you know, b- below the collar, but not below the shoulder blades. I'm like, ponytail, right. Locks, there's no pony locks. There's no pony dreadlocks. If you get your locks and put them together with a scrunchie, that don't make it a ponytail. That make it had it's just pulled together. See, now, had she been in the Army or Marines, she would know how regulations are looked at, okay? One, this is what it says. Two, the interpretation of it all. Is that a single hair going this way, just straight? Now, that's a ponytail. No, those are individual doggone braids, locks, or whatever that are grouped up together. That's not a ponytail. Ponytail is singular, one strand of hair, be it braided or worn straight or whatever. Okay. Then she gets to talking about, well, the, the, the blacks that she got in her family, you must not be a real African American. I'm like, no, I'm not African American. I'm foundational black American. Okay. Obama fruit booty ass is a African American daddy, African mama was a liberal. She was getting that soul pole, just like this Ann chick, you know, and thought, okay, that gives them a doggone all access pass to the cookout. No, Karen, it doesn't. So you got that going on. Uh, And I told, I said, Joy Reid, I mentioned her because I was like, Joy Reid, her parents immigrated from Africa to the United States, had her in 1964, and she's running around talking about she black. It's like, no, you are first generation African immigrant born. Same with Kamala Harris. She is not black. Her father is Jamaican. Her mother is Indian, the Bali, Bali, Bali of some sort. That don't constitute black American just because you was born here, see. But, you know, you get, like I said, you get them white liberals that Malcolm X warned us about. He said it. Don't trust them. Don't trust them. But, you know, niggas are slow. Now, black folk, black folk catch on quick. Niggas are slow. So, talk about you not real African-American. I'm like, no, I'm not African-American. I'm black American. I've always been black American. Foundational black American. Way back, trace my family all the way back to before the doggone Revolutionary War. West of the Mississippi. Okay, speaking of West of the Mississippi, she's been married about a year. And when I was looking at the doggone, I not glanced at her pictures. And she had some picture of some dude on there. Look, he had a sunfish thing on his suit. He don't look safe around children. I was like, who the hell is that? He don't look safe around children. Then a husband, I'm like, oh my God. That dude looked like he can't wait for crocodile season, crocodile hunting season to go down in Florida or Louisiana. I mean, look straight back. Swamp, river, backwoods, living. That's what it is. So I just sitting here like, either he rich or she just a desperate motherfucker because I'm like, ain't no way in hell. And I know a number of white women, a number of white women. They'd be like, I just, no. Like what? No. Mm -mm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. He looks like he hurts things. No. 
Mm-mm. Like what? No. Mm-mm. Nah, he looks like he hurt things. And that's her. So she's uh became my YouTube person of the day. Whoo.